This tractor uh, 40 years ago had a lot of work to do. It pulled a brand new 7,000 John Deere planter, four row, 38 inch, and uh, covered a lot of acres, planted all the corn, all the soybeans, and uh, it also did a lot of hay work, mowing hay, raking, baler. It was a very main tractor. Uh, I'm very fortunate we've kept this tractor and not traded off through the years, and it'll stay here on this farm for a long time. Put some repairs into it. These old tractors hold their value, and uh, really happy to have it around yet. It's in pretty good shape. It starts very well. It doesn't use any oil. Uh, it doesn't see the use that it used to. It's pretty much a parade tractor. Uh, probably the main function of it right now is the four row sweet corn planter. That's the uh, sweet corn planter goes on it and stays on it most of the summer. We'll plant several different patches of sweet corn so the planter just stays on this tractor. There's a lot of these tractors out there. They continue to hold their value. It's a shame that they don't make them new yet because they're one of the greatest tractors that John Deere ever produced. And uh, I think they actually probably sell for more now than they did, of course, when they were brand new coming off the line. You can rebuild them. They're just as functional today as they were in the early 60s when they, when they come out. Up here, we have the four bolts on the cowl. Middle 70s, a wonderful invention come out. It's called a planter monitor. We had flashing lights in front of us to let us know that there was seeds coming out of the tubes and we didn't have to go out and dig. And right here on the fender here are the four bolt holes in the fender where the AM-FM tractor radio was mounted. Pretty much standard equipment every 4020.